Finally, the command that confuses most junior developers, rebase. Let's set the scene. You created a feature branch from main. You made commits B and C. Meanwhile, main moved forward with commits X and Y. You have two options to integrate. Option one, merge. Create a merge commit with two parents. History shows the truth. Two parallel lines of work that join together. Option two, rebase. Take your commits and replay them on top of the new main. But you must understand this. A commit's identity is its hash. That hash is generated from the content, the metadata, and the parent pointer. Change any of those, including the parent, and you get a completely different hash, a different commit. Git can't move commits. That's not a thing. So what Rebase actually does is look at commit B, calculate the changes it introduced, create a new commit B1 with those same changes, but with Y as its parent instead of the original base. Look at commit C, calculate its changes, create a new commit C1 with those changes sitting on top of B1. Move your feature branch to point at C1. The old B and C? Orphaned. They'll eventually be garbage collected. This is what rebasing actually does. This is why you never rebase commits that others have seen. If your colleague has the old commits and you push new commits with the same content but different hashes, Git sees them as completely unrelated work. Merging becomes a nightmare. Duplicate changes appear, conflicts explode. But on local branches that you haven't shared, Rebase is powerful. It keeps history linear and clean. Just know the trade-off. You're choosing a clean story over the messy truth.